On January 23, 2001, in New York City, there was a special meeting of the White House Commission on Complementary and Alternative Medicine Policy. It was chaired by Dr. James Gordon, director of the Center for Mind-Body Medicine and a member of the National Institute of Health's Cancer Advisory Panel. At that meeting appeared a man at the request of Dr. Gordon for the express purpose of describing his use of a unique method of using energy, or chi, to assist people in self-healing. That man's name was Great Master Chi Fei Long, who descends from a long and glorious family history of power healers. For over 5,000 years, the Chinese culture has studied, nurtured, and harnessed the phenomena called qi, or energy. Indeed, there are countless stories of great masters who through the millennium have actually been able to harness this energy for the benefit of their fellow man. This is the modern story of one such great master, qi fei long. In the spring of 1999, Great Master Chi Fei Long made a fateful decision to leave his home and family to fulfill his dream and his destiny. With over six million devoted followers and legions of students to serve in his homeland as well as a very prosperous business, Great Master Chi knew that to truly fulfill his destiny, he would have to travel to the United States and practically start over. A daunting task for most, without speaking the English language, perhaps even perilous. But for great master Chi Fei Long, failure has never been an option. Greetings to all. My name is Grand Master Chi Fei Long. And uh, I thank you all very much for coming here to meet with me today. This is my honor to address this audience about my mission in America. I will continue my talk in Chinese. Thank you. 今天能和各位欢聚一堂，是我们的缘分所在。维持。It is our faith that brings us together here today. Allow me to extend my best wishes to everyone. I wish everyone health, a happy family, and a secure financial situation. My purpose in coming to the United States is to bring China's Qigong wealth of knowledge to both the ethnic Chinese and my American friends gathered here so that all people of different beliefs, races, and financial status can achieve a healthy body and a tranquil heart through training in Chinese Qigong, Shaolin Chanmigong. My desire is to build a solid bridge between China and the United States through Qigong. Let me share with you my methods and experiences in Qigong. My extensive knowledge of traditional Chinese medicine and pharmacology is passed down in my family and my sensitivity to feng shui or geomancy. My birthplace is Henan province, China, not far from the Shaolin Temple. I became the disciple of the eminent monk great masters Su Yun and Su Shi. I was trained diligently for many years. I was fortunate in enjoying the special attention and love of the great master Su Yun, who taught me the unique Shaolin techniques of Shan Yuan Gong and I Ching. These are secret Shaolin techniques which safeguard the temple. My master named me the master of the 31st generation of Jing Gong, One Finger Stand. After mastering Shan Yuan Gong, on the instructions of my master, I left the temple. I went to India to learn yoga, then to Qinghai and Tibet where I was instructed by several live Buddhas of great veneration. I later had the singular privilege of learning directly from the 10th generation Panchan Lama for a total of 239 days. A century ago, who would have believed in supersonics? Who would have believed in color television? Who could have imagined the huge capability of the computer? The same is true in the realm of Qigong. I can slice through metal objects with chi. This is not magic. I can see what you wrote without using my eyes. That's not magic either. With my chi, I can light things on fire, and neither is that magic. These are different planes of my power. People destined to possess such power have the opportunity to do this after training. I'm more than happy to teach my skills to those who want to learn. In short, we must not believe only in the known and disbelieve the unknown or study the known and neglect the unknown. If we do that, all scientific development will cease, and so, of course, will Qigong. 
The aim of Qigong is to achieve a highly balanced state of mind and body. Beside this balance is the balance of the environment, of what is called Feng Shui in Chinese. Feng Shui is quite popular today in the West, especially in the United States. In New York, Washington, D.C., and California, I was invited to consult on Feng Shui, the environmental balance, before a deal was closed on the sales of large buildings. I have studied I Ching and know well the five primary elements and eight divination diagrams. We have to pay attention to the basic rule of reciprocal promotion and destruction. I want to direct your attention to the rule of two, five, and eight. That is to say, to take care that the two primordial symbols, yin and yang, are balanced. The five primary elements, earth, metal, water, wood, and fire, do not destroy each other. And the eight divination diagrams are arranged in an orderly manner. For instance, when one buys a house, there is generally the question of what direction it should face. People normally believe that facing east or south brings good fortune, while facing north and west brings bad fortune. This is not absolute. According to the I Ching, east is governed by wood, and if your life is governed by earth, then wood destroys earth, and you will be unlucky because of the direction. Similarly, west is governed by metal, and if your life is fated to be earth, you will be fine. Because of the high plane I have reached in my Qigong, I possess special sensitivity to Feng Shui, and am ready to give real advice on Feng Shui to Chinese living in the U.S. and to all my American friends. My grandfather was a doctor in the imperial court of the former Qing dynasty, and this had a profound influence on me. Bone setting, acupressure, opening meridians, and energy detoxification were my family specialties. On the basis of traditional Chinese medical theory, I have also developed special acupuncture techniques applying the principle of the eight divination diagrams and special sitting cushions and hats. Hundreds of thousands of people have benefited. If you have a problem with your blood pressure, or a bladder or a kidney problem, cardiovascular problem, diabetes, tumor, or cancer, you may find my advice very helpful. Finally, I would like to thank all the people who gave their support and help, and thanks to all those who treasure health, life, and science. I wish everyone a healthy, wealthy, and successful life. Thank you, and God bless you. It was my great fortune to meet Master Chi Fei Long. And with his guidance and his treatments, it laid the basis of a protocol for us to strengthen my immune system. I see Master Chi for weekly treatments. And with his humor, his compassion, and his kindness, and his unique method of detoxifying the body, I have achieved health. Only last week did I see the surgeon and the, and the oncologist. And they both have declared me free of cancer. It is to Master Chi that I give great thanks. I met Great Master Chi a little over a year ago. While attending a seminar and demonstration of his unique abilities, I was awestruck by the extent of his power and his ability to channel energy. I had never seen anything like that before. It was at that point that I decided that I wanted to begin studying Qigong and learn more about it. A little over a month ago, I scheduled an appointment to see the Great Master to help me with a shoulder problem that I had had for over two years now. I had gone to a shoulder specialist who was able to treat the symptoms but was never able to actually treat the root cause. So as a result my shoulder problems just kept coming back. After one session my shoulder pain and problems just disappeared. They haven't come back since. I was so inspired that I, s I scheduled a series of appointments for my mother who had actually just undergone knee surgery about two weeks ago. She's just finished her second session and she's ecstatic with the results. She can actually move her knee, she can walk on her knee, uh, whereas before that, she couldn't even really bend it completely. I continue to be inspired by Great Master's unique ability, his warm disposition and his compassion for both his clients as well as his students, and I plan to continue my relationship with him, both as a client and as a student, for a long time to come. Hello, my name is Sue Graves, I'm a registered nurse in the state of Connecticut, and I've worked in both complementary and alternative medicine and regular traditional Western medicine. Through my work, I came to know of Master Chi 
and his unique detoxification technique and his incredible healing capacity. Um, I was very curious about his work and I was able to arrange an appointment with him and when I first met him and I entered the door of his clinic initially I was quite overwhelmed with a sense of compassion that he radiated and a very joyous smile and his very warm reception. This put me very much at ease and during my treatments with him I was filled with an incredible um, sense of energy pervading my body. I had an internal sense of well-being and an internal calm. I feel it's very important that we who are practitioners and help others also take care of ourselves and it's for that reason that I do see Master Chi on a regular basis and I'm very grateful for the energy and the work that he has shared with me.